Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for not changing my wedding date to include my fiancé's grandparents. Over the weekend, my amazing fiancé of five years proposed, and I couldn't have been happier. Being a very type of person, I immediately wanted to start planning. We knew we wanted to get married in April. It's the month my parents and siblings got married, the month we met, and it's my fiancé's favorite month because of the weather. Plus, spring is my favorite season. It was just perfect. After looking at about 10 venues, we finally found the one. When we walked in, we both felt this emotional connection. We knew it was the one. We met with the owner, and he offered us some great deals because he could tell we were in love with the place. So, we set the date. I reached out to his mom to let her know we have set a date, and she immediately calls me to say we set the date on a very important religious holiday for her and her parents. I asked her if this is a big deal. Neither me nor my fiancé are religious, and to be honest, I didn't even know they were that religious. Just as an example, my fiancé isn't even baptized and as a family, they celebrate all the generic holidays but don't even go to church or pray. In fact, he is so not religious that he didn't even know the holiday fell on this day until she told us. She says it is the most important holiday in her religion, and due to this, she will not be able to be in attendance at our wedding, nor will her parents as they are even more religious than her. His dad will come because they are divorced, and he is putting his son over the religious date. I reach out to my mother to confirm to her that this was a bad idea, and she asks around. A few of her friends who are also of this religion tell her while this is an important holiday, none of them will miss our wedding for it. Only my fiancé's mom and grandparents are making the big deal. I asked my fiancé what he wanted to do. This is his decision to make, and not mine, and he told me that he refuses to give up our dream venue on the only Sunday they have available to please his mother-slash-grandparents who aren't even that religious. So we don't change the date and tell them they are welcome to not join us even if that breaks our heart. Well, now his mother and grandparents are refusing to talk to us because we won't change the date of our wedding. So, a tay for not wanting to change the date? Update. Thank you to everybody who made me feel like the bride I deserve to be, by telling me that my day and my fiancé support is the most important thing. And for those of you who think I was the asshole, absolutely a fair point, but the one thing that was not understood was that this decision was made strictly by my fiancé. The ball was completely in his court. I already had another venue book to look at to replace our current venue. He decided that his grandparents' response was not worth his time as they should have respected him as a person, not as a religious person. I told my boyfriend that I was not willing to have a sleepless year of worrying if his mom slash grandparents will show to the wedding. So we came up with three game plans all of which we are going to bring up with the venue on Saturday. Keeping our current date because we already put 5k down, but looking at other venues that may have another date available, and if we find a venue we love just as much, we just lose our 5k deposit. But if we are unable to find another venue we love, we ask this venue to keep us on a waitlist as maybe one of the Sundays will clear up. Ask his grandparents slash mother for the money of the difference for a Saturday versus Sunday wedding since there is currently one Saturday still available. We think this is a fair ask because something that wasn't mentioned is that his grandparents are very well off financially. Ask the mother slash grandparents what time would best work with them if we kept the date. We believe that we can both have the wedding and celebrate the holiday, but that may mean that some other guest will not be able to attend because the wedding will be too early slash too late. But at least his grandparents slash mom will be there. Hopefully one of these options work but I won't have another update until Saturday. Final update. Well, I just got back from our venue. And I had the greatest news ever. He was able to give us a different date. Not only a different date, but a Saturday for the same price he was giving us for a Sunday. I will say that it wasn't easy to get him to agree to this. But after a few tears and my parents getting involved and having to explain to him that we may not go with the venue at all, he agreed. But, with the stimulation some other bride has to take our Sunday. 
So if something happens between now and next year in which he can't fill that Sunday, then we are going to unfortunately have to pay this price difference. But I have a lot of faith that brides will be interested in that date, as he has three this week alone for brides looking for that same month. As for my fiancé's mother-slash-grandparents, it turns out I wasn't the asshole at all. Once we called them with excitement to let them know we changed to a Saturday, they said they were not going to be able to be in attendance as they have church-slash-temple early in the morning on Sundays and cannot afford to stay out late Saturdays. Cute considering they've never once been to church-slash-temple the entire time I've known them. But at least the mother saw their ways and agreed she would no longer following their rules and want to influence by their behaviors. Thank you all for everything and cheers to being a 2025 Saturday Bride. Comments Equation Girl I mean, they could come and leave early surely. If they made such a song and dance about coming in the first place. Congratulations. OP, I think they just want a piece of control that I'm not giving them. Shelley 895 But what's their end game here? I don't see what they gain from this. They missed the wedding after you guys bent over backwards to change the date to please them, and now they not only miss the wedding of their grandson, but also alienate part of their family. That just doesn't make sense to me. OP, honestly, I can't read their mind. But what I can say is that I would do anything to have my grandparents back, but unfortunately, all grandparents pass away. So at the end of the day, my poor fiancé is going to forever have that in his mind when they pass away as his grandparents who didn't even go to his wedding. So I just have to support him with this because I don't think he'll ever forgive them, not even when they die. Vintage Silver Bullet. Old P is an idiot, in my professional opinion. She knew it wasn't about the date but still changed it, possibly cost Fivik, and acts all surprised that the grandparents are still not coming. I don't feel pity for people willing to gamble that much on bad ideas. Knitting Fairy. My immediate response to that would be, the next words that come out of your mouth had better be, you're my child and I love you more than a religious holiday, and I can't wait to go to your wedding, or you and I are never going to speak again. Eddie Hasburgler, IDK, I'm Jewish and not very observant, but if someone planned their wedding on Yom Kippur, knowing it was an important, the most important holy day, I'd pass on the wedding. If it was my future in-law, I'd be pissed at the disrespect it showed to my culture. Whatever the future Emile's religion, I understand her point of view. Glad it worked out in the end.